Your love for me, your love for me will never ever end. Your love for me, your love. You must develop mindset, a very strong mindset for about seven areas of your life. You must develop a very strong, positive, powerful mindset about the seven areas of your life. Every child of God must guide your mind and think about these seven areas of your life. Number one mindset you must have is intelligent mindset. You must learn how to develop your intelligence. Learn how to think well. Learn how to reason. God will not come from heaven to come and think for you. That's number one. Number two is your working mindset. Your working life. Number three, your spiritual mindset. Number four, your family mindset. Determine the kind of family you want to have. So number one is your intelligent mindset. Number two is your working mindset. Number three is your what? Your spiritual mindset. Number four is your family mindset. Five, your financial mindset. Develop it. God has given you the power. Amen. Number six, your healthy and your long life mindset. You can determine to live up to 80 years. And you can also decide or undecide and die early. Because if you don't decide, anything decide for you. Yes. If you don't think, others think for you. And if you don't think, you'll be stinking. Number seven is your social mindset. I'm going to teach you about developing your intelligent mindset. Because it starts from here. Because when your mind is correct, everything around you will be correct. Number two, when your mind is correct, people will mind you. People don't mind a man that doesn't have a mind. Nobody will mind you if they think that this one is not correct. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hi. So if you don't give your mind attention, nothing will attend to your life. Hey. You don't think your life is anything, anyhow. You will have anyhow life. What is intelligent? Intelligent is ability. It's ability. Write it. If you cannot write, draw it. Ability to know what to do at any time. Ability to know what to do at any point of call. Intelligence is ability to know what to do. This is not a dictionary. This is my own dictionary. This is some also dictionary. If you go and check your own dictionary, what you find? Take it for your family. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ability to know what to do. By reasoning, by thinking, by praying, how you to decode what to do, ability to know what to do, how to behave. Number two, about what is intelligent, ability to use your mind in all form at any level. And that's what I told you if you don't use your mind, nobody will mind you in life. Nobody mind a man that doesn't have a mind. Your hand is working, your leg is working, your nose is working, your mind must be working too. Yes, sir. If your mind is not alertive, if your mind is not working, you will not be mined by anybody. Yes. You want people to mind you? Check your mind. Check your mindset. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are perished for lack of knowledge. People's life are being destroyed, lack of knowledge, because you don't know what to do. Because you don't know what to think about how to prepare your future. That's why your life is being destroyed. Ladies and gentlemen, it is very important you check your mindset. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because they have rejected knowledge. I will also reject them. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that I have forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. Every man that doesn't have knowledge will not have a future. Your future is bleak if you don't have knowledge. The Bible says even if you're a pastor, this one he was talking to pastors. The pastors that do not have knowledge, the Bible says I will reject them. And look at what brings knowledge. Look at what brings. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest unto me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. So there are laws, there are revelations. There are commandments 
there are certain knowledge that establish your intelligence yes sir if you forget those knowledge if you forget those commandments sister you are lacking intelligence they have taught you that when you poop, you use your left hand to clean it then you grow you forget it you are using your right you have lost your mind so if you want to be intelligent observe commandment every intelligent person is someone who have learned commandment who have learned strategies who have learned knowledge so the more you come to church the more you are learning the more you become smart the more you develop your intelligence the more you read the more you can develop your intelligence there are commandments in this life there are laws to everything there is a door everything in this world has a key until you apply the key you can never have a breakthrough of it for my people are destroyed a lot of people are destroyed for lack of knowledge some so many in the entity because they don't have knowledge people are destroyed and some people it's not because they lack knowledge they know it but they are forgotten to apply it when you are sleeping pray they forget to pray when you don't remember your intelligent commandment certain things that you ought to know you don't know you forget them my sister you can be destroyed easily you can be destroyed easily satan can destroy your life your husband has kept on telling you honey tell me i love you tell me i love you a time will come your husband will not ask you again because you have refused to tell very soon somebody will be telling your husband for you when you forget laws you lose your future look at what happened I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou have forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. God forget you and forget your children. My sister, wake up, brother, wake up. Common laws of paying tithes, you cannot. Law, pay tithes, you cannot remember. That if you pay tithes, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. So you have not been paying tithes. What is happening to you? The devourer is chopping your money. Yes. See how 100 Ghana left your pocket. See how thousand Ghana, see how you are wasting money. See the money that have come to your hands and they left your hands anyhow. Come on, Marelia, the people buy a chestnut and modaya cream. They will clear it, your own. They have to they have to put you in the hospital for one week. Why? Because the devourer is eating into your spiritual account. You are rented this year. Look at the way you struggle to rent this year. So don't you know this can repeat itself next year? But yet, the, from the day you finish paying your rent, you forget next two years. You start enjoying. Start enjoying. One week to the rent, then you start coming to church. Papa, things are hard. Even my rent, I don't know what to do. My friend, two years ago, where were you? Two years! What have you been doing? Have you forgotten that two years will come for you to pay another rent? Every day, we are worrying God. Every day, we are worrying God. On unnecessary things wait until you get married you don't want to wait okay go ahead you'll be having abortion 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 if a young lady start having sex at the age of 21 by the time she has got to the age of 30 she might have had more than 10 to 15 abortions and some of you too wait until you marry so that you can have sex ah no you want to be using contraceptive post no four post no two Anthony lydia tell me as if you don't know it what are the names Huh? Father, Father, imagine. The more you use those things, the more it suppresses your hormones as a woman. It kills your hormones as a woman. So a time will come, the time you want to have a baby, your hormones as a woman that gets you pregnant is dead. You know what brings fibroid? Not having children on time. At the time you are supposed to have children, you push your wounds over, you lock it. Why? Because you want to have a wedding. What is this? You want to have a wedding. So you delay. The men will struggle. The women will struggle. Stop wasting credit. Credit alone. You are wasting money on credit. On Facebook and Twitter for nothing. Others are using it for business. Write these seven principles. I'm giving you one. If you don't use your mind, nobody will mind you in life. Nobody mind a man that doesn't use his mind. No man will mind a woman that doesn't know how to use her mind. 
Listen, it is not how nice you look. You don't marry look, you marry brain. He can be very short, but can rule the whole world. My brother, you don't marry but us. It's not color you marry. You don't marry breast. You must marry a brain woman. Yes, sir. A woman with brains. That's what you marry to. Yes. Stop all those nonsense we are looking for. So, what type of man do you want to marry? A very tall man. Cute. When you see tall, you don't think of anything. Even if the guy is a fool, you want to follow. Merci. Because he's tall. Yes, sir. So you are making all these men that are tall not to even think. Because once you are tall, <laughs> the world is not looking for nice people. The world is looking for intelligent people. Yes. Before, beauty contest was when you are beautiful. Today, beauty contest is not beauty. It's your mind beauty. Yes. So somebody can win a beauty contest. But if you look at that person, you say, ah. So this one, is it there? <laughs> Ghana was beautiful only. Oh, come on, you are not hearing what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Before beauty was in the structure, now beauty is in the brain. How you carry yourself, how you speak, how you react, when somebody offends you, how you even talk, determine how wise you are. Yes. When you are even walking, some of you, when I'm standing and I see you walking to church, I can even see how you behave when you get pregnant. Because even church, the way you are walking like this, I can predict when you get pregnant. You'll be walking around. God have mercy on you. Amen. Somebody say, my mind is coming up. My mind is coming out. Use your mind. Your mind determines who you are. Right? That's number two. You will know the person inside by how his brain thinks. It's not by looks. It's by mind. The world is not controlled by those who have money. The world is controlled by those who have the brain. Nobody was born with gold in the mouth or the hands. Everybody has dominion by the exercise of their brain. So how you start, when you start using your mind, when you started it, very important. Some of you at your age of 40, that's why you are thinking, hey, Charlie, you know, I was saying, Michelle, I said, me, me, Michelle, say, me, bab, me, bab, bab. Eh? At the end of 40, now you want to think. If you don't know what others know, you cannot lead them. You cannot lead anybody that you don't know more than the person. You are all selling the same product. But my friend, if you don't know more than the person, you can never be ahead of the person. Number five, what is in your head determines how you can be ahead. What is in your head determines how you can be ahead. They may know something you don't know. That's why they are getting what you are not getting. Somebody that is making it eh, may know or is applying something that you don't know. Yes. Don't envy them. Get knowledge. Stop envying people and start talking bad about them. And maybe it's easy to do. What do you do? You are selling your phone. Andre Ghana. This one too. Andre Ghana. Hello. Hi. And this one just think ah. Andre, Andre. Let me make my own 99 Ghana cities. How much has he reduced this one? One, one city. Come on, one city. But do you know how he looked like? He looked like this man is selling his own 90 Ghana. 99. This one is 100 Ghana. So once this man has the sense to reduce, you will get more than this one. Yes. Because this one looks more appealing. So if you don't know what others don't know, you cannot be ahead of them. Yeah.